Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish. A special welcome to those of you who may be new, or may be visiting our parish. If you would please stand for our opening hymn. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him, and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, giving you a title though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God beside me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord.
wondrous deeds. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught. But the Lord made the heavens. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Sylvanius, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and of labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrite? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that, he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Chosen, 
That word is found in our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah and in the second reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. To be chosen means to be selected for a special privilege. I became intrigued by the word chosen and began to reflect on the different people Jesus chose to help him in his public ministry. Let's start by taking a closer look at three people who were chosen for a special privilege. First, the Apostle Matthew. He was a tax collector. He was Jewish, but he was working for the Roman government. The Jewish people would have considered Matthew to be a thief and a traitor. In regards to his status, Matthew would have been considered the lowest of the low. Yet, Matthew was chosen by Jesus to be an apostle. Matthew was handpicked by Jesus to be his follower. Second, Mary Magdalene. Throughout history, this woman has been portrayed as a prostitute. Nothing in sacred scripture supports the notion that she was a lady of the evening. We do know from sacred scripture that Mary Magdalene is healed of seven demons. We just don't know which demons. That is left up to our imagination. We also know that Mary Magdalene was the first person that Jesus appeared to after his resurrection. She was chosen by Jesus to go and tell the apostles that she had seen the risen Lord. For this, she is known as the apostle to the apostles. Third, St. Paul. Before his conversion on the road to Damascus, which is recorded in the Acts of the Apostles, Paul was persecuting the church left and right. He did all that he could to destroy the church. On the road to Damascus, he is struck blind. He turns his life over to Jesus. In sacred scripture, we are told that St. Paul is a chosen instrument to carry the message of Jesus to the Gentiles. After considering those three examples, I began to ask myself three questions. Who is chosen? Why are we chosen? And what are we chosen to do? To answer the first question, we are all chosen. Perfection is not a requirement for discipleship. Jesus did not choose perfect people 2,000 years ago, and he is not choosing perfect people today. Even with our sins and our imperfections, Jesus will use us for his own purpose if we are open to him. Why are we chosen? Quite simply, because God needs us. We are God's co-workers. We all have something to offer. By virtue of our own baptisms, we all share in a common priesthood. We are the sons and the daughters of God. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to do our part to spread the message of Jesus far and wide. That is why we are chosen. What are we chosen to do? In a nutshell, to build God's kingdom upon this earth. To build this kingdom requires prayer and hope and endurance. And we can only build this kingdom if we are committed to building it together. It won't always be easy. Regardless, it is what we have been chosen to do. The bigger question, are we willing to do it? We have been chosen for a special privilege to preach the word of God, 
and to build God's kingdom. Therefore, let us choose to preach our Lord's message of love to each and every person we encounter. For only in our preaching of his message of love can we hope to build God's kingdom upon this earth. Please stand, and together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We bring our prayers to God who hears the cry of the poor. That the church continue to preach the gospel with power and conviction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government ensure fair taxes and provide needed services, including for the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That communities work together to end neglect and abuse, including of children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That neighborhoods, that neighborhoods at every economic level provide safe haven for those in crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who come to this table to be nour nourished with love, including those who live alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead the departed into the light of your dwelling place, including Howard Manning. They may gaze upon you for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions listed in our parish book of prayer, and for all of the intentions we hold in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All powerful God, everything we have comes from your hand. We return it all to you, asking only for your mercy. Please hear and grant answers to the prayers we have placed before you in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, 
it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Now, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. There are just two announcements. The Seas Build Ministry will have its last house meeting for the, this fall on Zoom, Wednesday, October 21st at 7 p.m., Please call Tom Jasinski or Frank Foldus or Deacon Bob to sign up to get additional details. The Trunk or Treat will be held on Sunday, October 25th at 3 p.m. Please contact Amy Burden in the church office to volunteer or for more information. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless each of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.